just as lyrics of a song or reading a poem, the Psalms invoke a lot of feelings within you. From them, there is an immense breadth of religious experience and you get a feeling of aspiration, regret, protest, struggle, and even complaint. You have just got to love the Psalms. They speak on human realities, human experiences, and human emotions. Many common questions about life are posed in these Psalms, and they seek to get solutions from God. They express thoughts about life, and most importantly, about God. The human soul is mirrored in the Psalms, and they bring out the rebellion, the submission, the joy, and unbelief. The psalmists freely and courageously complain about God's silence, man's ill treatment. They confess their sins, and they even call on God to give judgment to their enemies. They also plead for deliverance, comfort, healing, and long life. Psalm 23, Psalm 91, and Psalm 121 are mighty and powerful psalms, and when they are read together for three nights, they will bring healing, restoration, favor, and deliverance into our lives. In Psalm 23, we are promised divine provision, divine assurance, and divine hope. Therefore, by reading the psalm, we are invoking the power of these promises. This psalm can be coined in one sentence. If we make the Lord our shepherd, then surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives until we get to our final destination, which is heaven. Psalm 91, on the other hand, is a prayer of security and God's protection. To summarize this psalm, we can say, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. As for Psalm 121, this one acknowledges God being our only help and our only source. It talks about God being our provider, our protector, and, and it brings out God's sovereignty. To pray with these Psalms saints, you got to wake up in the midnight hour. And the reason you're waking up at this time is because it is the time that there is a lot of spiritual activity in the spiritual realm. This is the time that you can effectively engage in spiritual warfare. This is the best time to uproot, demolish, destroy, bring down, scatter, confuse and terrorize the kingdom of darkness. We do this by using the name that is above all names, the mighty name of Jesus Christ and his precious blood. We do this by using the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, once you wake up at this hour, which is between midnight and 3 a.m., sing your favorite worship song to God. Worship him with all your heart. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, your family, and over all that God has given you custody over. Then go ahead and clear your heart by forgiving everyone who has wronged you. Forgive, forgive, and forgive. And now, with your mind focused on only God, read the three Psalms, personalizing them to your situation. Read them with passion meaning each and every word that you say. Then get into prayer. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. He will direct you on how and what to pray. Present your petitions to God. Cry out to Jehovah God. He is faithful to hear you and respond to you as his child. God can never fail us. You can also use the help of prayer points when presenting your petitions or while praying. You can prepare the prayer points in advance. Get ones that are relevant to your situation or what is going on in your life at that particular time. Praying using these three psalms is powerful, saints. 
Because the Bible says in Psalms 138 verse 2 that God has magnified his word above his name. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Therefore, saints, pray with these psalms and there will no doubt be a shift in your life to the glory and honor of our Lord. If you have found this video valuable or if you have been blessed by it, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free also to give your thoughts and your comments down below. And please show your support to this channel by subscribing to it and sharing this video. Therefore, saints, let us take this moment to subscribe and to like the video. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below and also keep your testimonies coming as well. I sincerely love and appreciate you all and may the Almighty God bless you and grant you all the desires of your hearts and may He give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.